Hello, 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 hello. And welcome back. Oh my god, Jay already in here redeeming another smooch. Mwah. Mwah. That's what you get. Mwah. Thank you so much for for rejoining me. Um thank you. Can you blame them? I can't. I can't. You you're right. You're right, Pi. Also, thank you, Pi, and thank you, Jay, for rejoining. Um this is what I'm working on. I'm working on Jimmy Freebie. Um, let me know. I, I didn't leave. <laughs> well, well, thank you for not leaving. I'm going... I'm going to turn down my music. Just a little bit. I need it. We do 20. I sat in silence, silence the whole time and definitely not watching Mario. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Um, let me know if the music needs to be louder or quieter. Um, it looks like it's an okay... I almost said temperature. Um, but yeah. We're working on this because... Even though I need to work on stuff for conventions, I don't know how to work on things that are popular. So I'm drawing my latest obsession, Jimmy Freebie, from Get the Freebies or Foo Action, which is a comic book and also a failed pilot. And when I say comic book, I mean it was like a comic strip and an independent alternative music sort of magazine in the UK and uh, they were gonna they were gonna re republish it uh, the comic that is not the not the whole magazine and um, unfortunately it fell through with the publisher but they still sent me cool stickers and they were like they expressed a lot of um, frustration I don't know if it was just becoming really expensive because I know over COVID, gorillas were doing a lot of really cool projects and they lost a ton of money on them just because of um, delays and quality control and stuff. So I don't know if it was something like that where they're just like, it would be cheaper to just stop the project. But they have all of the uh, original scripts and stuff. They're just trying to find someone to sit down and put them all in a book. I will be there, waiting. I'll beat them up. The publisher? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's also on Amazon Prime, they have the Foo Action Pilot. I highly recommend it if you like just bizarre British television. <laughs> it's it's very like um tank girl energy wise. But aesthetically I would say it has a lot of mighty boosh energy. Lots of puppets. I was like literally working on a picture of 2D and I'm like, oh yeah, I should draw more gorillas fan art so people know I like them. Nope. Gotta draw Jamie Hulwitz's other very unpopular characters instead. Jay saying they never knew. I know, I know. It's hard. I never talk about the gorillas. I never re retweet anything about gorillas. Nothing. I don't want to listen to this. <laughs> Jay saying it's not like we sat on MSN playing the Jeep simulator. 
all the time. It like barely worked on my computer. And as soon as you like fell off the highway, it was over. <laughs> Thank you, Pi. Pi is saying, this is the first time I'm hearing you liking the gorillas. I thought they were a made up fan. <laughs> They're just a figment of my imagination. I kind of love that gorillas were trying to make like flash games and stuff. I know the Jeep Simulator specifically was not a flash game, but like mad respect for just trying to <laughs> like do anything with the van at that time on the early internet. Oh yeah, all of the Gorillaz games have become like lost media and everyone's trying to like hunt it down. That's what all of the youngins are doing in the fandom right now. They specifically want the Plastic Beach game back and then someone mentioned the Jeep game and I was like, oh shit, I haven't thought about the Jeep in forever. Mostly because I didn't play it a whole lot because my computer can handle it. about this convention because like I don't really know what's gonna sell and I've done like over 2020 like I just started drawing for myself and I'm worried it's gonna be devastating because <laughs> not only that it's also very anime themed and like Normally I would turn it down, but my friend's like, I don't know, you got all your old stock back and like that's themed like that. And I'm like, okay, yeah, true, true, true. I get all my display stuff on Tuesday and Wednesday. Very excited. Uh, just like uh, holders and stuff for my products to elevate them. And I've made new signage and stuff, so like I'm really excited. I wish I could have something to like display um, my like shirts and tapestries better. I think that's my only like regret. I have no idea really what that's gonna look like. I think I can pin up at least three of my all over print shirts. I'm thinking because loud prints are still really in that maybe I can I can sell the last of uh, my AOPs.
Music's too slow. We need to... Sorry, I'm flipping through everything. <laughs> The spooky music. This is probably gonna be kind of like a low key chaotic stream as I just fumble around trying to finish art. I've been having a hell of a time just trying to be inspired to like finish my projects. Um, just because I'm. I don't wanna be like, I'm unhappy, but I'm unhappy. <laughs> um, Things are just really rough right now, so I'm just trying to like keep my head down, work on art, and get through it. But it's hard for me to like want to design tattoo flash when I'm being held back, you know. And it's also hard um, to like want to finish stuff because I'm not really comfortable, I guess, in my room. Uh, for those of you who don't know, like, I, I did move, uh, recently, and I'm not, I'm not really thrilled with my room setup. Um, but I'm gonna get my partner to help me sell some of my furniture. Um, that I don't really need. It, like, doesn't work here, and I'm not super attached to it. And I hope that that'll free up some, sp like, space, and I'll feel less crowded. It's like hard to be motivated when like your working area is not like good, I guess. I don't know. Being an artist is complex. I hate it. Everything <laughs> or anything in this economy. Yeah, I don't know. Creation space is important. Um, it's why I didn't really like working at the office because everything was like this really like dark gray color, and it was just kind of like not fun to look at, not fun to sit in. Like, every chance I got to sit outside, I'd take it. And I don't- I'm not an outside person. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Tenchi. Yeah, we're drawn now. I gotta get ready for a convention that's coming up. Hoping, because I'm struggling to finish things, that with you guys watching me, and, or at least not even watching me, just keeping me company is going to be enough. Uh, I am drawing Jimmy Freebie. He's a little, he's a little freakhead. I love him. Little fella. He is a little guy, little fella. We love him.
Yeah, I do. Jay's asking me if I want a piece of red velvet cake. Of course. Did you bring enough for the whole class? Pi is asking. True, true. Oh, in better news, um, I got my uh, Instagram account reinstated, so that's good. It wasn't like gone, it was just shadow banned, so it wasn't being pushed to new people, um, which sucked. Um, but I got them to keep up some of my posts. Uh, it was the reel that I thought it was with the Playboy pinups. Um, they just didn't like the tags. So I had to remove the tags, pin up girl, pin up art, and um, bunny girl, I think. I think that's what the sweet spot was. It was dumb and like, it was so stupid because um, the other piece that they made me get rid of was the picture of um, TV head Pluto wearing uh, the bunny suit as well, but it's like, you know, her, her butt is in the frame. But the crazy part of that is that I opened up Instagram and the first thing I saw was like a, a really big picture that someone had painted of a girl's butt and it was like covered in fishnet. And I was like, are you kidding? The Pluto one is like super old though. Like I say super old, but like it was done in May. So it's like, why are you finding it now and mad about it? And like, I have tons of other art, including the same pictures of the pinup girls. Uh, on Instagram and those didn't get pulled. So it was like, okay, very cool. Yeah, it was definitely an account sweep, it sucked. I mean, that being said, the reel still did really well. Um, I found out my analytics though, and it was kind of like soul crushing. Um, Cause what you guys see, if you look at my art Instagram is that I have, you know, over a thousand followers, which, you know, you think big number, good. 6% of my followers interact with my content. So my account's considered dead, <laughs> regardless of how much I like post up. So, that's fun. Hello? What are you doing? Feeding me? Oh, thank you. Did you? Oh, that's, that's great. Thank you. Thank you for handing me the knife like that. <laughs> Time to die. Time to die. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to eat this. <laughs> I said, I said, I don't know how I'm going to eat this. Oh, okay. Papa, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, how about the Thank you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we'll make dinner, but it's in big chunks. <laughs> so he's going to cut it up for me because he's beautiful like that. I love that guy. <laughs> he perfected the brown rice though. We've been struggling making brown rice in this home, but it's okay now. I like that you guys are so excited for cucumber time. No, it, it was chicken and rice. Or it's going to be chicken and rice. Um, and Tenchi's asking if I opened up a drink, I actually have a mug full of peach juice. So I brought, I brought the juice to me. And I also turned on my fan. Um, I feel like that also helps. 
No, it's in a mug. I don't have glasses. Well, I have glasses. You know what I mean. I you know. <laughs> in a curtain. I kept saying that I was drinking from a curtain to Will, and he was like, what? And I was like, I just explained the it's just explained it to you. You guys are such bullies. Love you though. Now pie one smooch? Mwah. But yeah, it was a very stressful night. Um, but I'm glad that Instagram sorted its shit out, even though it was really annoying about it. And yeah, the real ended up doing well anyways, so. Uh, one bullshit thing, I don't know if I mentioned it last night, but Instagram, like, literally said, like, oh, uh, we can't recommend your account to, like, you know, the Explore page or uh, recommended accounts, blah, 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 or related accounts. And they were like, but for, like, a fee, we can push your content to your followers. And I'm like... Is that not what you're supposed to be already doing? That's that's why someone follows me, is to, to see my stuff, right? Like, how dare you fucking be like, oh, but if you want people to see it, you, you do have to pay us. Like, fuck off. And like, Instagram's also really crazy about um, comment, comment engagement which like on average i get maybe one to two comments like a lot of people are not social on on instagram like they barely comment and so that's what was kind of into the six percent it's like you get a lot of likes on stuff but nobody comments and it's like yeah because we're all we're just cool picture and that's the end of it like and i don't mean that in a negative way it's just i'm the same way with my friends it's like i don't have time to sit and comment on anything a heart to me like, like a like on instagram is just a thumbs up it's like cool shit love it keep it up he's back Next time we play video game, we're gonna try and beat the Sonic one, just because I'm frustrated. I don't know how someone beat that in a night. I don't know how someone beat Bomb Rush Cyberpunk in a fucking night. It's so hard. <laughs> that being said, I'm kind of glad that I, I can't just breeze through it because, like, I really like it. I want to cherish it. Do not want to listen to this song. No. This one's good.
delicious teeth. I really, I was thinking about how much I really like how Jamie Hillwit draws teeth. I'm not very good at drawing teeth, but I think I get the idea. Also working on a print of the Spice Girls, and uh, oh, Dan, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Did you finish your your errands? Um, I'm working on a print of the Spice Girls right now as well. Um, I have no idea when that one's going to be finished. I've been working on it like off and on since the beginning of the year, just because it's like a low priority project. It's just fun for me. Uh, I really like the picture that I chose, but I've I've noticed that Scary Spice just makes like she just scrunches up her face in like every picture, and it's so hard to draw because I don't want to like overdraw it, so it's like really like you know unflattering. And then like I don't know, she's just got her tongue out, and like I don't want it to look like goofy or like not complex enough like in comparison I <laughs> then I'm saying her name is scary spice true I said I didn't want it to be unflattering not that it wasn't scary <laughs> feel like looks really good in the picture. It's just for facial expression. It's just hard to draw in a nice way. Who's everyone's favorite Spice Girl? Uh, mine was Baby and Ginger. It was like a tie. Because there were some looks that I just, I, I was obsessed with, with uh, Ginger Spice. But then like, I felt like if I was a Spice Girl, I'd be Baby. You know what I mean? I feel like adult me is Definitely gender. <laughs> ah, Jay's favorite Spice Girl is Ice Spice. That's fair. That's fair. Dead I'm saying not really a Spice Girls fan. Uh, I believe it. I think my favorite Spice Girls fact is that, like, Victoria just, that's Posh Spice, for those uh, who don't know, um, she really didn't want to be a part of the band, and that's what, and, like, they agreed that she would have the least amount of singing parts. And I, I kind of love that for her, but she's also the reason why, um, for a while it was, it was Ginger Spice as to why, um, they didn't have reunions, just because Jerry was kind of, like, exhausted by it. But now it's like Posh Spice. She just doesn't care. She just, it's beneath her. She also has like her own um, clothing store, like a boutique or something. No cash registers. I think it's like all like payment through like iPad or something. Uh, this song is from Black Future 88, which is a video game, and it's called Intruder in the Dark. I used to watch Pi play this game. It's a good game. I think I bought it, but I'm... I'm too wimpy to play it. <laughs> Jay says it's on my liked song list, but I don't know it by name. Yeah, whenever I think about Posh Spice now, I just think about how she said that cash registers were ugly and not aesthetically pleasing. 
I'm like, you know what? Good for you. You're right. And you should say it. <laughs> Jay, you like Scary Spice? ADHD Queen? Does she have ADHD? Whenever I think of Scary Spice, I think about her on Eric Andre saying that Margaret Thatcher had fucking girl power. And then, like, he proceeds to list off something absolutely horrid that she's done. And he's like, do you believe that Margaret Thatcher had girl power when she did this. <laughs> I thought it was alleged that the the baby was with Eddie Murphy. So I remember that was like a whole scandal thing. He tried to puss out of it. Scary Spice is like cool though, other than um you know, the Margaret Thatcher thing. Do we have more in Canada? Hell yeah, we do. Uh, where I grew up, we were so close to the, the border, so we, um, we get Fox, unfortunately. But it's a hell of a time. We used to love watching it, um, on Halloween or, like, Devil's Night because, like, it would just be, like, mayhem. All, like, the terrible pranks and shit gone wrong. in reference to uh, Posh Spice's store with the no registers. Denim says some old woman looking for clothes as a present for a granddaughter walks into the store accidentally steals the whole outfit thinking it's free. Like at the time, I feel like square readers and stuff like that weren't as mainstream as they are now. Now it's pretty common that there's not a cash register. Little boots, little boots. And then little boots. Denim just got bombarded with ads and said that the Photoshop ad got bugged and didn't show anything. I don't know, I think like physical money is like kind of gross. Like it feels gross, I don't know who's touched it. And yeah, there's a lot of places that, you know, prefer a cash or a cash only and like I just don't normally shop there. It's true, what about that tax evasion? <laughs> oh apparently there's a problem um on the buses here because you can um we have like bus passes that you just tap on and tap off. But apparently now you can tap with your debit or credit card and people who just have their cards in their back wallet like in their back pocket in their wallet if they're leaning up against the wrong thing it'll charge them Sorry, I'm eating rice. 
Tangi. I do agree with Denim. They said that they only recently got around to setting up shit to pay with their phone and that they kind of hate it. I don't have it, so I I can pay with my phone unless it's like they have an app and it's just easier to like pay through the app or whatever. I don't mind that. Um, but yeah, you, you do unfortunately spend more because it's not like you're looking into your wallet and you're like, oh man, I don't have, like, like when you physically can see the dollars, and like the change and stuff like that. Like, I feel like you make a better decision. Whereas like, you have this like idea of how much money you have and then you spend a lot in that one day and you're like, I'll be fine. And then you're like, oop, whoops. Yeah, I agree with that denim. They say that they feel like it's part of the design. Absolutely. In this capitalist climate, absolutely. Think about all of the stores that are suffering right now. Because no one is having children. And everyone's eating avocado toast and not buying a house. I says, I just be tight-fisted about everything. Poor, have you tried skipping breakfast? God, that article was so frustrating. It's like, is it the most important meal of the day? I think we, we think you can afford to skip it. It's like, bitch, you think I can afford breakfast already? And now you're telling me not to have it? My favorite was when, um, I think it was Blog TO or something, made that, like, um, April Fool's joke about a four-day work week, and everyone in the comments was like, this is so out of touch, fuck you, like, for making this a joke, it's not funny. Lately I've been hanging out with my friend, um, Linspot, and she has a little, a little Pomeranian named Pico, and I love Pico so much, with my whole heart. Pico's slowly starting to be like, um, like slowly, like warming up to me, 
And the other day she was like booping me with her nose. It was really cute. It always feels really good when like an animal likes you. <laughs> That's that good serotonin shit. And then they'd see my this wonderful Jimmy and change their mind. I made Lin's bot watch foo action with me. It's like watch this with me, it's weird. It's like okay. We go to a lot of like alternative weird drag shows together, so I knew she'd appreciate it. She's also the one that got us the table at the anime con. So I'm excited. Oh, I'm okay. I just put my tablet pen in my dinner, but it's okay. Girl dinner. <laughs> Oh my god, before I started my stream back up, I was singing Planet of the Days like really loud. Like I was just shouting it in my room. My door was closed, but I was shouting it. And then Will just came in and he's like, what are you singing? And I was like, nothing, get out of my room. I was really feeling it though. It was big get out of my room bad energy, yes. Well, while he was making dinner, I was like, like, just standing there watching him. And he was like, what are you doing? Stop watching me. And I was like, okay. But then I'm not allowed to sing in my room? Hmm? Hmm? I'm kidding. I was being loud. The worst is I keep forgetting that um, I don't live on my own anymore and I'll like be walking around and it'll be really late at night and um, my little idiot self will just be like singing a song really loud and like I, it isn't until I walk by like Will's room and I'm like oh shit he's sleeping because he's normal.
And I'm not singing like normal songs. I was singing like when I first did it and caught myself, I was singing like a grime song, but it was like a weird part of the grime song where she's just like making weird noises. <laughs> I think if he heard me, though, he would say something. He did not say anything. I was singing the song with my people. It's true, it's true. Grimes is not my people, though. The weird little noises she makes, absolutely. That's a good representation of me. But her as a person, no. She's not making weird noises, she's got the worst opinion imaginable, so... Are you implying that Grimes' opinions are not that bad? <laughs> she said that the war wouldn't be happening if Russia and Ukraine would just duke it out in Fortnite. <laughs> it could be way worse true, I, I guess. She was also like defending the patriarchy and being really misogynistic and weird. And she also thinks that all artists should abandon copyright, but then she was upset that people were making better Grimes music than her, which I thought was really funny. Oh, Tenchi, we're, we're talking about Grimes. I think the majority of you already know, but like her music's really important to like my creative process. I'm a huge fan of her music, but as a person, it's just like, who? Oh, I recently saw that, um, that clip of, of, um, Yoko Ono, John Lennon, and some other guy, like, performing, and how she just kept screaming, um, and, like, they just, like, cut her mic, and you can see, like, the reaction on, like, their faces, like, what the fuck is she doing? I love that for Yoko Ono. There was a guy that I used to work with at the office who I, I personally didn't like. He was another artist. Uh, not in my department, though. He just sat near me. And he would constantly just talk about how Yoko Ono was, like, his favorite artist. And I was just like, well, you know what? Sometimes I get embarrassed talking about how much I love Grimes' music. But, like, go off. <laughs> at least I'm not a Yoko Ono fan. <laughs> I think Yoko Ono is interesting, um, but like, that's kind of it. I would just prefer not to like, think about her. Good on her for breaking up the Beatles though. That happened because she had had enough. And she was right for that. 
I wasn't even alive and I had had enough of the Beatles. That's a part of my character lore is I absolutely despise the Beatles. I think they're so shitty. Do we have any Beatle fans in, in the chat? Because now's your time to defend yourself. Sell me on the Beatles. Just very bluntly, I really hate Imagine. I don't know very many people who who do like Imagine. Um. Also, hello Ben. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Imagine is um. That's just John, is it not? I don't know, it's just like, even before the COVID shit, I found it was like, I think John's the worst Beatle. I think a lot of, can we agree on that? John's the worst Beatle? Also, Ben, we are talking about how much we hate the Beatles. Oh, we, we Beatle hating in here? Fuck yeah, yeah. See, I would always say that, um, Um, I would always say that George was my favorite Beatle, but then, like, I found out about, like, the cult stuff, and I was like, okay, maybe not. He also kind of, like, in his, in that era, he looked like he didn't bathe, so, like, that's also, like, you know, points against him. Yeah, I, I think, I think that's, that's it, really, uh, Tenchi. Listen, you can start a cult and be cool about it, but, like, I don't think he was cool about it. Just from what I heard, some people died, and it wasn't cool, so... <laughs> I love bed. Look, you can't save them all. True. True. We weren't there. We weren't there. This is fucked. <laughs> I love that my Streamlabs was like, I'm not gonna send your push notice. Except, psych, yes I am. And I'm gonna do it twice. Very cool. My apologies. I haven't super figured out the timers for my push note of in the chat thing. It's supposed to be like every like certain number of texts, but it does not seem to work. Yeah, what, it's just only the sticker shop one? Stop. Leave my friends alone. I'll fiddle with it when I'm done my fucking stream.
Man, we getting like some really like thoughtful answers about separating music from the musician and stuff like that in the chat. My apologies if anyone's getting heated. I just wanted to be like, haha, Beatles were stinky and I do not like their music. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna turn off Cloudbot because it's out of control. Okay, Cloudbot shouldn't bother us anymore. It better not, or else. Oh, hello, Roaches! Welcome, welcome! Good to see you again! Same day, same day. Except now it's a normal time. Oh yeah, I don't like the Beatles or their music. That being said, Maxwell's Silver Hammer, very funny! And I wish they made more music like that. Yeah, three streams today! Wow, we on a roll! That's what happens when you're waiting to hear back from jobs. <laughs> I knew that I would just kind of like sit in bed and do nothing if I didn't come on here and like either play a game or draw. So I'd much rather be productive and hang out with you guys because I normally feel a lot better after I stream. Um, cause seeing everyone kind of like, cheers me up, I'm like, oh yeah! Oh, welcome Neil! Yes, solidarity! It sure be like that. I wish it wasn't like that, but it sure be like that. Oh, thank you, Roaches. Uh, for those who haven't seen, this is Jimmy Freebie, my boy from uh, Get the Freebies or Foo Action, which is what it's kind of like being renamed as. Just a weird little guy with a basketball head. I won't be making like a lot of prints of him, but like I normally just make one print of each because I know I'm more likely to sell one print of each design instead of like, you know, making like 10 or even five is like too much. If I have a really popular one, I might carry two. That's kind of like how I, I tackle conventions. Just because like, you know, I've been doing them since I was a teenager and having dead stock is so like defeating. <laughs> I also used to just make posters, so it like made more sense to carry a lot of posters because that's just all I made. But now that I have so many other stuff, it's like, if you want to print, here's the print. Also, the price has gone up of everything, so... I have found, um, that, like, some of the stuff that I made that, like, didn't do well back then, it's been so long, now it's coming back into trend, which is like really funny. Um, Cause I used to do like these all over print shirts and skirts and stuff like that with really busy patterns or loud artwork and no one really wanted to buy them. And now like every now and then, cause I used to sell them on Etsy, people will find them and be like, do you still have this? Or like, do you have it in this size? And I'm like, yeah, I do actually. I'll get that for you. <laughs> and like I brought a few out to, um, a smaller, like, art... I don't want to say festival, and it wasn't a con, but it was, like, just a little... art jam thing. 
little art crawl. And uh, they were they were the big ticket item. I sold out of almost all of my all over print skirts. And like I always thought it didn't do well because the skirts like the the background color is white and a lot of people don't buy white clothing because like it stains easier. So like it's easier to put it on like, you know, a pink body or black or blue or something like that. Cause just like naturally people kinda shy away from from white. So you know, knowing what I know about fashion now, I'm like, oh, I understand why this didn't sell. But I thought that the print was so busy and so pink that, like, the white just looked nicer. Uh, but now people like it, so I'm glad that I could finally get rid of it. And to people who, like, who will appreciate it. The only thing that sucks is that, like, it was really expensive to make all of those. So, like, I never saw a return on them. But it was kind of just more of a passion project. Yeah, I fucking love Donkey Kong Country. Um, one and two are probably my favorites, and it's mostly just because like I didn't really have access to the third one. But whenever I play the third one, I like it too. I find the Donkey Kong Country games are so fucking good. Three is stupid. Oh yeah, Neil's a bit of a, a Donkey Kong expert. For a while, they were, like, streaming Donkey Kong all the time. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I absolutely agree with you guys. It is definitely a little weird and absolutely underwhelming. I didn't like the map. I found the map kind of confusing as a kid. Um, now I know, like, what to do. I think visually, though, all the games have aged, like, really beautifully. Like, it looks so cool. I never really got to play Donkey Kong 64, so, like, I don't really have much of an opinion on it. Um... I remember all of my friends, like, when it came out, I remember my friends complaining that it was hard. But, like, I don't know, I feel like my friend group, if I was to be like, Donkey Kong 64, and I think everyone likes it, whether they like it because, you know, it's good or bad, I don't know, but... I feel like it's just, like, a goofy little thing that everyone just, like, mutually agrees. It's, like, fun, but, like... Or, like, they like it, but... Yeah, I think the reason varies. <laughs> what is Will Arnett selling you, Neil? I guess you can't respond because Will Ar it's Will Arnett time. Oh my god, what kind of ads are you getting, Denim? Taco Bell and Ketchup made sense, but not recruitment ads. Wake up, gamers. Join the army. Ah, the navy, yeah.
sorry, I'm just eating a little bit. No, I don't even want to talk about that, Jay. No. Jay's talking about their older brother selling their stuff for drugs. Relatable. We hate older brothers in this home. My older brother um, sold most of our N64 games, and then he sold um, a lot of my DVDs. Because my mom didn't have a DVD player. My mom didn't believe that we needed, like, a computer she didn't believe that we needed a DVD player or anything like that she was just like we don't need that nobody's gonna use that Ugh. but my dad was very much into tech so like as soon as the DVD player came out he got it um, and like that's where I did all my digital drawing was at dad's house on this computer But, um, so when I bought DVDs, my mom would be like, why are you buying DVDs? We don't have a DVD player. I'm like, eh. And so, like, I would, like, bring them over to my dad's house. And then I was like, hey, like, I want to watch my Ren and Stimpy DVDs. And my dad's like, I have never seen Ren and Stimpy DVDs here. And then, it, and then like, I remember, like, oh, when I left them here. And then my dad was just like, why did you leave them here? They're gone. It's okay, like, a lot of stuff I've, like, replaced or, like, it came out with, like, something better later on. So. And when I worked at the video game store, video games hadn't, like, hit an all-time high yet. So. And a lot of things that I was missing were not really expensive games. Because, like, I never owned Mario Party or anything that's, like, hundreds of dollars. I liked all, like, the weird shit games. Oh yeah, I love the map music in uh, Donkey Kong Country. And talking about like having things as like uh, phone noises and stuff like that. Most of my phone noises are um, sonic sound effects, but like sometimes I forget. And I'll I watch this one guy, and whenever he like swears, he censors it with like a, a sonic noise. And I'm constantly picking up my phone, like who's texting me? But it's it's just a fucking YouTube video. <laughs> or if it's in a song. I am a fool. My first ringtone ever, like my first custom ringtone ever was actually the Indiana Jones theme. Because uh, my dad got this code and he's like, we can redeem one of three things. And it was like a Star Wars song, uh, the Indiana Jones theme, and I don't know what the other one was. And I was like, oh, Indiana Jones, for sure. My dad never let me, like, customize my cell phone and stuff like that as a teenager. It just had to be, like, basic, basic, basic. So... Rocha says, a weird game that I played a lot but didn't really like was Biofreaks. I vaguely remember that. Um, it actually came up recently. I follow this like Twitter blog that just um, shares a bunch of like archival art, either concept art, manual book art, and stuff like that. And they posted up a whole bunch 
of a Bio Freaks art recently, and I was like, I never played this. I probably will never play this. But it looked, it looked ugly. <laughs> It was one of those games that I remember seeing as a kid and I was just like, oh, teenagers play this. Cool teenagers play this. Teenagers is like a little edge. I feel like we have to make the... Oh my god. <laughs> Roaches. That's really funny. I was, I once like fought with my mom um, because I really wanted to watch Family Guy. It was like during when Family Guy was still new and uh, it rivaled the time slot with um, Desperate Housewives and we only had one TV. And um, I was like, mom, can I please just watch Family Guy? Like you never let me watch TV. We always have to watch what you want to watch. And she's like, fine. And it was the Shapoopy episode and I was devastated. And I never asked again. I was so embarrassed. I was livid. So I have like a grudge against that. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> I just wanted to watch Family Guy so I could go to school and talk about it to my friends. Well, like, I had watched Family Guy previously, and I liked it. I, it's true, I needed the interaction. Jay's saying that the States loves Shapoopy? I don't know, I think it's just kind of me. I think it's just literally a me problem. I don't know if that's like a Canadian problem. I love denim by what metric? Jay and his friends, duh. <laughs> and even though Roaches said it was a joke, they still liked it on some level. So like, we got we got two in the chat right now. Pro Shapoopy. I'm also I don't like uh, singing episodes, so like. When Family Guy started to get like all sing songy because Seth needed attention, I was like, eh, that's not for me anymore. I think just with like the context of like me fighting with my mom trying to just fucking watch Family Guy, and then like that being the episode is just really funny to me. And I don't think I would hate it as much as I do if it wasn't for that, so. <laughs> Tenji's saying Seth needs to be seen as the great singer that he is. Didn't he like finally release like a, a Christmas album? Singing Christmas music? I've seen more episodes than the Shapoopy one, Jay. Shut up. <laughs> Denim, she really was like that. Like, I remember she, she's being like, this is the show you wanted to watch? And I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Because my mom be like that. Uh, I, I feel you, Roaches. I I personally love singing, but I find it... And I used to I used to take singing lessons and everything. Um, I used to be really confident in it. And then, like, I just had, like, a, a weird experience in, like, school. Um, 
and I was like, I don't know, maybe I'm a shit singer, I don't know, and, and I just, like, got really embarrassed about it. But, uh, now, whenever I do karaoke, I pick the songs that I... I'm either gonna be really goofy about it, or I pick songs where I'm like, I'm gonna... I, I know I can sing this song, and it's gonna be great, and I'm gonna surprise all my friends. So I love doing that at the end, where I, I love singing shit songs all night, and then being like, Haha, joking, I can sing, fuck you. <laughs> Whether I sing well is, like, debatable, but... It's all about finding... Like, the songs I want to sing are normally by, like, male artists, and... Obviously, I can't sing very low. Um... I don't sing 19 2000, Jay, but I do, I do like singing Rock the House or Clint Eastwood. I find that those songs are fun to sing. And you don't actually have to sing them. You can just, like, as, as long as you've got, like, the rhythm down, you're good. And, of course, knowing the words. Oh my god, Pi saying you should make covers. Pluto is gonna cover her favorite Family Guy episode song, Shapoopy. I really wanted to do, um, I thought it'd be funny if I did covers of like Rob Zombie songs in a different tempo. But like, I do genuinely love Rob Zombie and I don't want to be like super cringe about it. But it's something that I've like humored myself with. Oh my god, Jay, that's so cringe. I love that for you, though. That's a big teenage experience. I love that. Oh yeah, I love Rob Zombie. He's like, he's such a big nerd, but like in like the coolest way possible. My, uh, my villain backstory, my villain origin story is, um, when I was, like, I think in grade eight, I auditioned specifically to sing, uh, in this, like, Disney musical thing that my, like, uh, the school was putting on, and, uh, I really wanted to sing Reflection by Christina Aguilera. Um, also because I liked Mulan. Um, I don't think we were, like nobody dressed up like the characters or anything like that. It was just kind of like a, a talent show sort of thing. And I didn't get the part, not because I was bad, but because I wasn't old enough. They, they felt that I was singing a song that was too mature for me. And I was like really heartbroken because I like practice it for like months. Also, this really dates the story, but um, my my backup song was um, I think "Drops of Jupiter" by Train, just because my singing coach um, like was really into teaching me that song. I don't know why. I was a kid and I was just like, okay. But I didn't want to sing that song. I wanted to sing the Mulan song. Actually, the other day when Will wasn't home, I was singing that song really loudly. I sing it out of spite. I sing it with my full chest out of spite. It's one of those things that I'm like... That I'm just gonna be like... Ah! That would have been great. I was so spiteful, I went to the talent show and I really thought I got her because she did her, the girl who did get to perform Reflection, she sang it, she sang it okay. Um, I don't really remember it. It wasn't bad and uh, I didn't clap. I just stared at her. She couldn't see me. There was tons of other people clapping for her, but I didn't clap. <laughs> Because I was like, yeah, that's right. Fuck you. And that's what you do when you're 11, right? <laughs> I 
Oh, I love that for your mom roaches. That your mom loves Rob Zombie even though she's a big Christian. I don't know, Rob Zombie music, although it's very hard sounding, it's pretty inoffensive. My grandma had a moment like that once. Uh, we were watching some sort of music festival and ACDC came on. And grandma was like, oh, was that ACDC? Are they on next? And we're like, yeah, yeah, they're just starting up. And she like came in to like watch the whole performance. And she goes, I really like that. And then she got up and left and we're like, very based grandma, nice. I'm pretty indifferent with ACDC. But my favorite ACDC moment is definitely when they made the whole soundtrack. Well, they didn't make the whole soundtrack, but their music is the whole soundtrack to one of my favorite movies, Maximum Overdrive by Stephen King. school we had a talent show um, and this wasn't the Disney related thing it was like a, anyone could enter in any grade sort of thing um, I don't know what the prize was it was just kind of like fun to perform in front of everyone and everyone was like really cool about it but they had to make a rule the year that Skater Boy by Avril Lavigne came out that only one person could perform one song um, you couldn't all pick the same song because the year Skater Boy came out, we had at least seven people, sometimes it's back to back, singing Skater Boy to varying degrees. Sometimes it would just be two girls like running around on the stage, just like being chaotic. I remember I, I was feeling, I like, I being the demographic for Av Avril Lavigne at that time, I remember I even felt burnt out. It was like, it would just start up again and you'd be like, oh God. Oh my god, Jay, that's tragic. <laughs> Teachers do be like that. Oh, we got this ambient music going on in here. It's hard to draw this part of Jimmy's body because normally when Jamie Hillwit draws it, he draws the outline of the penis. But I don't want to do that. Jimmy doesn't have a penis as far as I'm concerned. But he does have like a weird kind of like pudgy body. 
Yeah, the little boots are so funny. I love them too. <laughs> Neil's like, Neil mentioning that they scrubbed away the dick of Crazy Frog. And I'm following the footsteps by scrubbing away the peen of Jimmy. No, it doesn't, Jay. That's my boy, Jimmy. I'm gonna like make this look like a spray paint crown. That's why it looks like that. Cause Jimmy's character kills the queen because he wants to become the king of England. And I love that for him. I love a man with goals. I think that's what it comes down to. Man, a lot of you just questioning Jimmy's actions, but like, I don't know, Jimmy's Jimmy's cool. Jimmy's cool, you guys. I promise, he's cool. My favorite is if you watch Foo action, nobody seems to really like care that this little basketball man is suddenly the king of England. They just accept it. They're like, yeah, of course. And I'm like, that's the most fucking British thing. I kind of just want to put this on a white background. <laughs> then I'm saying, I don't even know this dude and I'm already feeling weird about him. Me too. But like in a different way. <laughs> I, I was like, I'm gonna read the comic, but then I, I was like, oh, the comic just isn't available. That's why they were doing pre-orders. Okay, I get it, I get it. And then uh, I watched, I, I realized that there was like a pilot. So I watched the pilot and I was like, this is really cool. And I'm like, I think Jimmy's my favorite. And then I like sat with that and I was like, uh-oh. And then I went up to Will and I was like, I think I have a crush on Jimmy. And he's like, yeah, I know you have a crush on Jimmy. And I was like, whoops. I don't need to have a crush on this little guy. I'm gonna change the music. I need something upbeat. This is not a beat, but it's a banger. There we go, there we go. Sorry, I needed to... I needed to be awake. It's late.
this song is from Freedom Planet, and it is called Lilac's Treehouse. I was thinking we should probably finish this on stream. <laughs> we never finish games. So that's just how I am. Like, I'll play a game and be like, this game's great. And then I'll put it down for months. And then I'm like, I want to play that game again. I don't know why I stopped playing. <laughs> Gotta finish Hollow Knight. Oh, Streets of Rage is Street the Streets of Rage 4 is so good. I too did not finish it. <laughs> but I loved it. It was so fun. that Jamie only sometimes will draw him with a neck. Sometimes he just floats. Jimmy Freebie. My favorite little freak. TV Head Ray! Both because your name's TV Head and because we're both TV Heads. <laughs> Thank you! How did your stream go? been good. We we're playing Remnant 2. I'm not feeling familiar with that at all. Because I live under a rock. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Is it another game that plays like First person shooter or a third person shooter? I'm only guessing that because we play a lot of games like that. It's like Dark Souls, but with guns. Okay, I was correct about the guns. Hey, nothing wrong with a good pew pew. That sounds kind of 
bizarre, but... It's like me drawing my silly little guys. Can't, can't blame you for that. We love a good little silly little guy. We love a good QQ game. Jimmy Phoebe is a little silly little guy. He wants to uh, rule, he wants to be the new king of Eng uh, England. And I love that for him. I love me a man with goals. He's like a lesser known character from Jimmy Hoet. Yeah, I love that his arms too long, legs too short, booties on point. Little baby booties. I have to put this in like Photoshop and like blur it out a bit, but I wasn't sure what to do. Like I wanted just his hands to be like all over the place, and then I thought, wouldn't it be funny if he was like Desu Desu Jimmy Flippy? <laughs> The other day I walked up to Will, um, we had gone outside and I had my black skinny jeans on, a black t-shirt, and just like a, a black baseball hat. And I like walked by the mirror and I looked at myself and I like had a bit of a laugh and then I went outside to where he was and I was like, do you think this outfit is giving Steven Spielberg? And he was like, what? And I was like, I feel like Steven Spielberg right now. And he was like, okay. And then I just went, Konnichiwa, Steven Spielberg does. And he just stared at me. Uh, and then I went inside. Uh, I'm very thankful he lets me live here. <laughs> he has to deal with this like every day. Literally doing God's work. Earlier, I was just saying, yeah, yeah, beat this one to him over and over again. <laughs> then I'm saying, I would stare too. Jay saying, we'll mistreat you like a fucking Bethesda NPC just coming up and forcing dialogue on him. Yeah. Batista. 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 <laughs> Listen. Batista. <laughs> I cannot read and talk good. Batista. Batista. I like mine better. <laughs> TV head saying yes. Well known WWE wrestler. to say that word out loud, okay? <laughs> Barista game.
I love the I hate you two moments. Those ones are so funny. My um my dad once was driving um his father-in-law. I forget where they were going, but he was driving him somewhere, and there was like this big um billboard ad of a NASCAR racer, and Grandpa apparently pointed it pointed it out and said, I hate that guy. And my dad had just like had enough of my grandpa. And he was just like, yeah, I bet he hates you too. And I guess it like really shook him. He, was, he didn't know what to say after that. <laughs> he just like slunk down in his chair. And I think about that pretty frequently. TV head, we're listening to um, the Freedom Planet soundtrack currently. And then I was talking about how I should probably get back on my shit and finish that game. Because we were like right at the end. And then I moved and never touched it again. We should have a marathon day where we just like finish all the games. It's like a Sonic fan game. Um, it's not actually like a Sonic game, but it, it feels like a Sonic game and you're, you're like anthropomorph anthropomorphic characters defeating like, you know, robots and stuff. It feels also like visually a lot like Rocket Knight Adventures if you're familiar with that. Cause like that has a lot of like animatronic like dragons and stuff. Yeah, we're playing um, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were playing that earlier today too. We played it twice today. We played it at 2 a.m. and then we played it at like, I don't know, 5, 5 p.m.? It's all I can think about. It's all I wanna do is just play that game. But I, I'm getting ready to like sell at a convention, so I kind of have to like um, buckle down and like make stuff for it. Even though all the stuff I want to draw and make is not popular, like no one's coming to my booth and they're like, "Oh my god, gotta get that Jimmy Freebie print." No one, but I like having them there because the odd person who maybe does like Jimmy Freebie is gonna be really excited about it. So. <laughs> I'm mostly gonna be selling like um, my stickers and my apparel. So I'm excited because I haven't done like a big three day show in a while. I normally just do like smaller shows that are maybe a few hours. But I seem to pull really good sales in just like the smaller ones. I just don't know if this place is my audience because it is very anime themed. This is your first time seeing this character ever? I'm not surprised. <laughs> He's very niche. Um, he has here. I think Roaches would really like um, this comic. Where did it go? There he is. I'll oh, have a good one. Tenchi, thanks so much for hanging out with us. So here's a, a comic picture of of Jimmy having a laugh. Discount Coach Z, that's so mean. He he like predates Coach Z, I'm pretty sure. I think this is fan art, but this is uh, Jimmy and then this guy, I don't know their names. I just, I only care about Jimmy. And then these are like his, his gang. And there's like a whole bunch of like other weird characters. Uh, where's the... A 
I love it when Jimmy is like a good jorb. You guys are bullies. But yeah, here's like a good representation of them. They're just cool little guys. And I don't know if, um, if any of you are interested, there's also like a live action version of it, of the comic. Uh, it's a failed pilot on Amazon Prime, but it's under Foo Action instead of Meet, meet the Freebies. Or Get the Freebies, sorry. Meet the Freebies. Here they are. Welcome. I don't know, my thing is I can never like anything a normal amount and I can never like anything normal. I'm always like, hey, let's talk about this thing that no one's talking about. And like, I don't know, I'm always, I'm, I'm always like, like it's like the cafeteria meme, I'm always sitting alone at the cafeteria. I'm at the Jimmy Freebie table. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I just wanted to try it. Oh, shit. We hate it. I think it's because it's too... You gotta tone it down. Now I feel like that's too toned down. Jimmy! Okay, let's shade other stuff. I'll come back to that. Denim says, honestly, this dude reminds me of the lip head mascot. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna Google it. I see it. I definitely see it. I don't know if this is official. I've never... I see it, I see it. Big ol' round head. Literally lip head. I agree with Jay on that. Jay says that Jimmy looks like a main antagonist from a new Aqua Teen Hunger Force episode. I agree, I agree. Maybe that's why I like him. I was a huge Aqua Teen Hunger Force fan.
light source come from here? <laughs> I'm really bad at just like making it the fuck up. That's my biggest downfall. Also, TV Head is here, and he called me out on it last time, and it was really funny. And then after I fixed it, it looked really good, so... See, I'm also with Denim. Denim says the light comes from wherever you fucking want it to. It's true, it's true. Well, you were high that day, TV Head. You were zooted. You like came into my stream and you're like, this is a cool drawing. And then like, you were really quiet. And then you were like, where's that light source coming from though? <laughs> and then I was like, wait, what? But then I just started laughing because you're like, I don't know, maybe I'm making shit up. I'm high. And then we like fixed it. And I was like, no, you were right though. Yeah, done of you were high and you gave me good art advice. Yeah, solidarity with roaches. They say light source and shading is hard. I just improvise too. It's one of those things that's like, yeah, I understand it and I know where it should go. Do I want to fuck around and fiddle with it? No, not all the time. Yeah, but I love that for you, TV head. It was really, really funny. And it's something I think about a lot whenever, like, I'm shading a tattoo or something. I'm like, gotta, gotta do TV head good. Gotta make him proud. What would TV head say exactly? He would say, where's this pink highlight coming from? And then I'd fix it and it would look 10 times better. <laughs> Aw, TV head. I don't know, I, I think there is some level, this is not me getting defensive, but I do think there is some level of just like, I don't know, at the end of the day, does it look cool? Then that's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> well, when when Jimmy Hillit draws it, he just does like one of these, and then that's it. <laughs> but we're not doing that in my drawing. We're exempting it. <laughs> saying, sorry the lighting isn't real world accurate on my unearthly abomination. <laughs> Literally me though. I keep changing what I'm gonna tattoo on myself because I really do not want to tattoo on myself. I have evolved past wanting to tattoo on myself. That's why we're gonna tattoo Will's dad instead. <laughs> That's next week's adventure. Hey, I actually made a roadie, roadie stencil a long time ago. I still have it, I've just never used it. <laughs> I loved how many of you were like, yeah, fuck it, we ball but I feel like Will's dad also feels the same way, so fuck it, we ball. Oh, 
Oh, Wilden suggested his his dad and like like and his mom were both like, oh, we want tattoos. <laughs> and Will was like, okay, but they're not free. And I'm like, thank you for studying up for me. <laughs> he wants me to give him knuckle tattoos and I'm I I told Will I'm like tell him we're not doing knuckle tattoos. <laughs> I said I'll do something on his arm, but I'm not doing I'm not doing that. He wants something that the like for knuckle tattoos, though, um, he wants a brain. He wants a brain on his arm. Um, and uh, for his knuckles, like you only have about eight spaces, right? And like, it's really easy to blow out the skin on your knuckles because or on your fingers because it's so thin. And like. He's old, so like, his knuckles are gonna be like, you know, old. <laughs> so it's gonna be difficult to tattoo. So like, I'll have to see the texture of his hands. But like, normally that is not, like a, a seasoned artist would do that, not an apprentice. <laughs> but he also wants like a long, a long thing, because you only have eight spaces, really. But he's counting his thumbs as well. And I'm like, it won't fit, it won't fit. The thing that I'm really scared about, which I already expressed in my Discord server, is that I'm worried that he, he might not take care of it, um, cause he's sick. And it's just like one other thing. And I'm worried it'll like get an infection or something. I would, I would not be able to live with myself. <laughs> like I know that I can, I can deliver it and be like, you know, clean about it, safe about it. But like after I leave, that's kind of just on him. Um. And like talking about things like that, I find on Ink Master, whenever they bring someone back and they're like, this healed like shit. And then like, if you know anything about tattoos, you can see that it's just sun damage. Like this person has never worn sunblock. So it's like basically evaporated out of their skin or like turned green or it's super faded. And it's just like, that's not the artist's fault. Yeah, exactly. Denim says, like, do what you're comfortable and allowed to do. Follow the law and shit. Exactly, yeah. It's one of those things where it's like, I'll look at it, but, like, I will probably not be doing that. Old English letters, poop and butt across knuckles. I like that idea. I will definitely suggest it. <laughs> Can you imagine? This dying man's wish. Please tattoo my knuckles. Me. Okay, but under one condition. It says a poop and butt. I made sure that I was like, well, you have to stress that, like, I do cartoons. 
and then I'm not doing anything like realistic. Also, it doesn't seem like he's got like a very specific idea, so I think I'm gonna just like freehand draw and then and then like tattoo like my drawing. Cause I was like, oh let me know what, what he wants and I'll make a stencil of it and then I'll bring it home. Then he's like, I don't think he knows what he wants. I'm like, great, unhelpful. And like, no one owns a printer anymore. I say, just thinking about how I left my printer on the side of the road. <laughs> he would be too much of a wimp to get a neck tattoo. And again, I'm an apprentice. I should not be doing neck tattoos. I also stress that I don't have any colored ink. And I was like, make sure they know. my tattoo knowledge because I have to remember. <laughs> It'll be important on the test later. Draw the Punisher logo in your style. You know what? He'd probably love that. Like, why that's you? Punisher. <laughs> this is the Punisher logo in my style. Punisher. Jellyfish Spongebob. <laughs> now it's the Punisher logo. Mmm, Ingy. Hello Kitty Punisher Skull. Kawaii. Kawaii. Yeah, it does look like the McMuscle logo. <laughs> Um, I do want to have a stream where like I just draw a bunch of flash tattoos that are like your guys' ideas like that where I just like draw a bunch of like weird shit because so I find like that's really trending now and I think it would be a really fun exercise to just like just draw silly little line, line work tattoos yeah a little doodle time we haven't done that in a really long time. And I normally like kind of like get in my head about it and then I like start focusing in on like something and then most of the stream is me drawing like one thing. Oh, you wish I saved the funny little, well, it'll be forever on the VOD. I can always screenshot it. I saved the minion one that one time. The minion was on. The banana! That one.
hate light sources. Looks like it's shit. I think I gotta change it from being blue for the, the pink part. Cause it looks fine on the green and then really bad on the blue. Good one, TV Head. Thank you so much for the raid and for hanging out with me. I'll see you around. She says that they want to get a tattoo for their birthday. That's exciting. I'm probably going to get one for my birthday too. What were you thinking? For me, I'm just going to get a tattoo of mine actually finished. I haven't been able to go back to the artist just because of everything happening. <laughs> but I'm hoping that I'll have some money by then to get my, my tattoo finished. And I want to get um, some stuff tattooed inside of my ear. Not like inside of like my ear canal, but like on my ear, on my ear. She's been doing cute like uh, flowers and stuff, but I think I want like a little Saturn, some space stuff, I don't know, and cute stars. Or even just like colorful dots or something. Yeah! My ear. Also very cool getting uh, some script on your right pet, your last name. I'm assuming you're getting script. That's kind of like the more like cursive looking stuff. I think that'll look really nice. I also have a tattoo like uh, behind my ear, not like on the ear, it's, it's on my head, but it's behind my ear, of a really gnarly looking tooth. Just because I have a lot of dental problems and I thought it would be funny after getting all my wisdom teeth, which were gnarly, removed, I was like, wouldn't it be funny to just put it back, just put it back. Ooh, 
Ooh, Felix the Cat is such a good, good choice of character for a tattoo. I've been wanting a Felix tattoo for a while, but I was kind of unsure what exactly I wanted. But Felix, I love Felix, he's so cool. I'm still gonna like fill around with like the textures and stuff like that. I'd love to put like a half tone pattern on them, but I'm gonna call it for now just because it's almost 11 at night here and I wanna finish the rest of my food. I have to microwave it. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, second round, third, third round of stream. I'm so sorry um, that I've been streaming so much today. Uh, I just didn't want to sit around and be mopey, and it was really nice hanging out with you guys. Uh, it's good to have company while I work on stuff. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much again, and um, I have a really busy week ahead of me, so maybe we stream three times to make up for the fact <laughs> that I, I don't know how much I'll be around this week. Um, but yeah, have a good night, and uh, I'll be floating around on the internet. You know where to find me. Um, have a good week, you guys. And have a good rest of your night. Love you. Bye.